The box cylinder com combination is going to be one of, one of your more powerful form combinations and you're going to use it for all kinds of things. So, depending on which one's bigger and which one's smaller, that'll depend on what you're kind of drawing. You could use that to make a camera. Right? This could be a lens. You could use this to make a simple radio. Or maybe a Bluetooth speaker at this point. You can put dials in there. You can even put in, you know, a little antenna if it actually is a radio. You can take the box and you can skewer it. There, I messed up. I made a tangent, so I need to change that. I'm going to move this guy down to about there. Make it overlap. That way it's more clear. I'm run it right through. And I have just created a skewered box, which I can then turn into like, I don't know, a kebab or something. You can create things like your very, very old school lunchbox. You can create things like uh, weird clover patterns or gears or something. Um, you can then do things like subtracting things from the box forms. I really like thinking about additive and subtractive form combinations. So here's a subtractive one. We're going to draw a box. Make some adjustments, make sure it's good. Make sure I'm drawing triangles. And then we're going to cut out a little half pipe out of the box. Just by making a quick arc. We're going to do that on both sides. I'm going to emphasize the arc here, de-emphasize it here, though you probably want to draw it still. And there we go. We have this little arc. You give it a little edge. That helps bring that to the fore. You can even then go on and add to it, and you can put this cylinder back on it. So if you're doing things that are more machine-like and mechanical, this might be a really good exercise for you. You can also do things like round out corners. I think this is one, this one's very important to do, or to be able to do, is to round out this corner. So I can say, well, I'm essentially taking a little bit of a cylinder and then rounding out that corner. I can also do the opposite and draw the box and then I can cut out from the corner. I can also do more complicated cutouts. Can draw the box. I 
always double checking myself on my triangles, making sure that these things actually are going to converge eventually. I suggest you do the same. You can do things like cut out a part of a corner. with a bit of a cylinder. That one's kind of fun. I don't know why, but I like that one. This one's really getting you to think about how this corner acts and what it, and what I can do with that corner. And I call these subtractive because what I'm doing is I'm drawing the entire box and then I'm taking something out and I can still kind of see this corner, right? You, if you're get, If you get really good at this, maybe you can do things like this. But in the beginning, I wouldn't try because this is this is way more complicated because you have to have this corner in your head. If it's down on paper, it's easier to track.